right there. He's real big. Right there, fish on. It's not really a more effective or fun style of fishing. Keeps you on your toes because you're constantly just hunting. Let's go. You feel me? Yeah, I said, let's go. I'm talking to you, I'm talking to the camera, I'm talking to YouTube world, worldwide viewers right now. Let's get it. We're just gonna jump right into it. No intro today, what do you think? Or we can call this the intro. Whatever, it's just a casual Saturday out here on the old lake. Nice, calm, warm. Mosquitoes out the wazoo. <laughs> <laughs> a few of those. And today we're gonna sharpshoot some walleyes on some high pressured water. So stay tuned, should be kind of a fun little deal. It's kind of a pattern that a lot of times revolves around systems that number one, don't have a lot of fish, number two, fish that are very pressured. And it's a very efficient way to kind of sharpshoot and pick apart um, hopefully some big fish that are sitting up high in the water column. So stay tuned, we're gonna get it down. We're gonna dump the live, hopefully get you guys some good shots off of that today. Cameron's gonna learn how to fish a drop shot. Yes sir. Are you excited about it? I am. You want to troll it, cast it, jig it, rig it? Cast away. All right. <laughs> All right, so we get asked, we're going to get rock and roll here, but we get asked a ton of questions on these live mounts and which one I use and, and things of that nature. And this is one that we actually helped design and test. And in my opinion, if you're a walleye guy, it's probably the best one you could have on your boat. TKI Inc. I list it in the bottom of every single video. You guys can kind of see how quick this thing is to get set up. Number one, it goes set up very fast. Number two, it's very rock solid. So just like that, just like that. And then it actually doubles as a rod holder as well, but very simple to just put it down, click it in place. And just like that, we're fishing. So that's kind of the deal. We're hopefully gonna get you guys some good shots off the Mega Live today. And basically we're drop shot fishing and there's a ton of like dead flies in the water. You see all that, Cammy? I do. It's normally not an ideal situation, but it kind of caters well to our presentation. Elliot Identity Series rod, quarter or 3 16 ounce drop shot on there. Number two finesse hook with a big old jumbo leech on there. And we are literally only gonna cast when we see fish on the live. So you see how this works here? So basically this is obviously the bottom. This is the angle, so it's shooting 60 feet right now straight is it straight in front of the boat with this so if i turn it this way it's obviously straight that way okay. so like a lot of times i'll be like oh right there and then you can kind of see like the feet right here everybody thinks it's always farther so like 30 feet's like you know like that's 30 feet you know a lot of times people think like 30 feet's like just way a, out there well, yeah everybody goes like <laughs> 30 yards and you're like dude that's 130 feet Right there, fish on. It's feeling right, Cammy. It's feeling right. I think that's gonna be a big walleye. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, real nice walleye, real nice walleye. Well, we just did a little spot move. And look at that thing. That thing was sitting way up high in the water column, which is something you notice a lot. Wow, we had a nice one. On these real kind of bluebird days when you're getting a lot of these bug hatches. There was another one out there, but that one was way up high off bottom. I just pitched the drop shot out and it, it bit it on the way down. I was like, come on fish, move, because a lot of times you'll see them kind of run down to chase it. But that one just dipped down a little bit. I must have eaten it right off the fall. Right on. That's on the old drop shot. Cameron's mopping up on the large mouth, small mouth, pike. <laughs> But we just moved spots, so hopefully we'll get a good opportunity here to 
get a few of these guys on this spot potentially. And this fish is hooked kind of deep, so one thing you can do to get them out is basically just run your players in through the gill. When the players is closed, grab the hook, turn it backwards. There we go. Now he's out. And just like that, beautiful walleye number one of the morning. Kind of a thinned out pale post spawner. That looks like an old fish if I've ever seen one. <laughs> we'll let him go. But the hope is that we obviously catch some nice fish like that today and bigger. So we'll see what happens. But drop shot's a great way to fish under these kind of conditions. I would think like, uh, I, well, he probably doesn't have a G. Probably not. fish. It's a really good walleye. Wow. <laughs> Man, is he ever soft on there. Whoa, angry. Angry. Come here, buddy. Sometimes, you know, the best thing about live is not just being able to see the fish. He's all angry. But a lot of times it's being able to see exactly where that structure is. And in that situation, you can just see there's a couple of I wasn't sure if I was looking at that loon. Sometimes the loon will dive down and you'll see him on the live, obviously. Or if it was a fish, but there's just a couple of lumps in there in the weed edge. Just made a real short pitch to him. Told Cameron to cast the opposite direction to ensure that I caught it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just how it worked out, but goes. it's a nice fish right there. No complaints on that one. We'll get him popped off here real quick. Yeah, he just kind of ate it and started coming at me. There we go. I'll give you guys a look. And honestly, one of the best baits you can fish right now, especially on a lot of these clear water systems where you get a lot of bug hatch going on, highly pressured, is just, especially if you're gonna target shoot like this, slip is a good option if you're just gonna kinda like cast baits out and kinda let them sit around fish. But there's not like a ton of fish to just let your bait sit around out here. So we're just doing the drop shot because it's a little bit more efficient at this style of fishing. couple of them right there as you guys could see oh Cameron really good walleye there's a bunch of really good walleyes out there that is what we're after you guys can probably see there was like three four of them you got a leech on Cameron I do grab your rod real quick see them stand up here see how they're right there so 50 feet out right there perfect that'll do there we go, man. Another real nice fish. We actually lost a few other, whoa, 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 nice walleyes. Just kind of running down this little sand weed edge. You can kind of turn that thing, Cameron, to like see if they're still there or whatever. And you kind of like trace the angle of your line going out. Such an effective way to fish off the Mega Live, man. Especially in these systems where you might not be dealing with a ton of fish. And one thing you can do is just basically fly down these weed edges and Anytime you see a mark, obviously put a bait right in his face. It's a pretty simple style of fishing. It just takes a little bit of time to get used to. And that is a perfect walleye right there. There we go, man. Sharp shooting them with the drop shot off the Mega Live. It's not really a more effective or fun style of fishing. Keeps you on your toes because you're constantly just hunting the graph, looking for where those fish are, trying to drop that bait right in their head. I made a couple of casts at those ones till I kind of lined them up just right. And there we go. Catching some real nice fish today. Come on, babies, be there. They were sitting there for a while. Yeah, that was a really good pot of them, wasn't it? Oh, right there. Yeah. Getting too close. What's that? So I'm getting too close to them. far away. Oh. 
got another one. It's feeling really heavy, man. And when you get on them like this and you can make those kind of repetitive casts, this might be the fish of the day. So these are some good ones, aren't they? Got a tangled net. We're all good though we're on them. <laughs> now it's getting fun. There we go. Back to back. It's like a little that. better. Here, jump up here again. See if I can. There's still another one out there. Yeah, dude. There's like three, four, five of them. And it happens fast when you get on them, especially if they're willing to bite right away. Which seems like you know most of these fish, when we get around them, they have been biting relatively quick. There's just obviously not a ton of marks that we're finding to cast at. Well, that's another good one right there. Super nice fish, man. Way up shallow like this. Not really a more fun way to fish them. Every time we've caught a walleye, it's been a quality one so far. And we'll take it as long as we can just keep stringing a few of these together. There we go. See you later, big mama. She angry. All sharp shooting. Now, a lot of people always watch these videos and they're like, that looks like it's cheating, right? Cameron, is it, does it make it easier to find the fish? Uh, it definitely does make it easier. There's a lot, it, lot it, to it though, isn't it? There's a lot more to yeah. it than kind of Yeah, it's still a lot about putting the bait in there that's fishy, making that right cast angle, because a lot of these fish see so many baits on these pressured systems that it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. So one thing you see happen a lot is just like, you can like fish through an area, unless you can just put that bait like over and over in the front of that fish's face. It's almost like, you know, it seems like the lake's just void of fish. And largely, we're working hundreds of yards to basically find a little pod like this. And then sharpshoot with the drop shot just to put it right on a dime in front of them. Slip bobber could work too, but drop shot's one of those presentations that's almost just like custom cater for the style of fishing. Weight, hook, you can put any kind of live bait or a plastic on there if you want. And it gets to the target very fast. Mm -hmm. All right guys, so set up real quick. First of all, we want to welcome you guys to the Elliott Identity Series Rods. Very excited about this. Kind of been, had been able to play with a few of these over the course of the last six months and have been very excited to get these. Got home from North Dakota this week and there's a pile of them sitting on my doorstep. These rods, the Identity Series Rods, first of all, they're technique specific rods. So there's a reaction baits rod. There's a, you know, a, a rigging rod. There's a light jig rod. All these rods that are custom designed for specific applications. This one we're fishing with today is a 7.4 medium light fast action rig and jig rod. Now these identity series rods, it is unbelievable quality. Same sin cork on everything. This is the rig and jig, but the rig and jig rod is really good for a lot of these finesse applications. One thing you want with the drop shot rod, generally I like them to be seven foot or longer. It lets you make a little bit longer cast with light live bait. And that's key as well. But another thing that's important is plenty of load in the rod. There's plenty of bend in that midsection. When you're drop shotting, you don't have a super big hook on. So you need a lot of load in the rod to kind of absorb a lot of that. Set up we're fishing and 10 pound braid into a long 10 pound fluorocarbon leader down to, I like running these light, a 3 16 ounce egg weight. You don't want that thing like when you pitch a, a bait out just to go like swoop right down into those fish very fast that might be better in the middle of summer when you're a little bit more reaction fishing but this time of year we like this thing to kind of wisp down especially if some of these fish are suspended we like that thing just kind of tailing like this because a lot of fish will actually eat on the fall and then our length of lead we're fishing around some weeds and some other stuff so we're running about a foot and a half two foot lead on here to keep that presentation up off bottom and then just your standard kind of number two octopus hook with that big jumbo leech on there. Super simple setup. One thing that's important is not to like crazy horse the fish, number one. Of course, we just got a crazy tangle here, number two. But you don't need a crazy hook set. A lot of people, the second they feel a bite, they wanna do some crazy like swing like that. Basically, all you have to do is the drop shot rod, and especially these longer light action rods, just kind of swing into them like that and you're gonna have that fish on. So that's kind of the setup we're fishing. That's how I like to drop shot fish. Obviously kind of the unsung hero to this style of fishing is the mega live. Being able to just basically stand here, stand here, and then pinpoint right where those fish are and make that kind of perfect cast.
that a bite? There he is. There he is. Now don't horse him. We got kind of a smaller hook on here. You don't have to put too much pressure on him with the drop shot. <laughs> it's gonna be a good one, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, baby. This is what's so fun about this pattern, kind of when you get it going on and get in a good cluster of fish. Find a little pot like that. Absolutely. Just let that last fish go and I turned over camera, I was like right there. We both kind of did our pitch. Oh yeah, super nice walleye, man. These are some super quality fish. There we go, Nothing dude. wrong with that, right Give on. Some. That is what I'm talking about, man. It's getting fun now, huh? Yeah, now that we're able to find <laughs> a few of them. Just a little bit. This guy looks like he's almost been chomped by a muskie or something. Well, of course he inhaled it too. Mm -hmm. See him. Yeah, it's pretty deep in there. Like, deep. Pass my fingers. Yeah, so basically what you do in this situation, pull the line, grab the hook, turn the hook out like that, and just like that he's unhooked. Here, hold him up once like that. Should we get a Cameron Crockett walleye picture? <laughs> just say something to you. Here, come stand out here once you're too far above me. And hold him out. Look at that beauty. This fun, isn't it? Absolutely, it's you know, especially when you can find them with the Mega Live, like you're you know explaining to find these pods and get on them, and then to be able to cast back to back, you know, to get it's, on these fish. It's more, cool. it's more interactive than just a hope and a prayer. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, you're not you know just diving out singing for nothing. But. Yeah, let me get a picture of you. All right, going back. Beautiful northern Wisconsin walleyes, my friend. Right on. As good as it gets. Sharp shooting them off the old Mega Live. See if we can find a couple more. Do it. Tough to catch them on live if you're just sitting down staring at the live, to be honest. <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose. Right there. Small walleye, Cameron. First one of those we've got. Oh, look at him right here now. Cameron, right out here. See him all? Not far. 25, 30 feet. There we go. And it's definitely, that's kind of how it goes. When you get around them, you definitely get around them. You can see that one right there. That one hurts the average though, Cameron, doesn't it? But nonetheless. It is walleye. I was starting to wonder if there was even a small fish in this lake. But it turns out... The ones that we're yeah, I mean our size has been on point. Here is a 15 incher swimming amongst the big dogs. But there we go. Nice one. He at one point for sure got chomped by a big pike or a muskie. We'll let him go real quick though. To live another day. A lot of these lakes where you know, pressure is a big thing. They're not very big lakes. There's not a lot of stocking that goes on. Natural reproduction is very low. Those are all things that fight against a walleye fisher being good. Catch and release, so important on these systems. So that's the deal. Obviously, we all want a lake where we can go to and keep a limit of fish when we go. But the reality is a lot of these lakes, regardless of what the sign says at the boat landing, where you can keep three, five, ten, whatever, catch and release never been more important to a lot of these lakes, especially you know, really true all over, but I notice it a lot on these little tiny northern Wisconsin lakes. Definitely a good little school of fishes. This way, fifty should be good. There we go. Got him. There's more there. Stay. Uh, feeling all right. 
I've noticed that it seems like, ooh, this is getting real big on me. It seems like it's taken a little bit longer from the bite, kind of as the day's kind of gone on here. We're doing it though, aren't we? It's like we? a nice one. It is nice. It's not super big. Not he kind of fooled big, me, but, but, oh, dude, no complaints with those. No complaints with those, day. dude. Man, if you were to just fan cast this, how long would it take you to get around them? Be out here oh. for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like if you were to just try to blindly cast, it'd almost be just too intimidating to even try. Well, that is a super nice fish, man, right there. Definitely takes a little practice just kind of get the hang of like where the fish is at, when to like just kind of stall out. One thing you'll see a lot is like you might cast out to a fish and then like he just doesn't change where he's at in the water column. And then a lot of times all of a sudden you'll see him kind of go down. And that's a lot of times that fish chasing that bait into the bottom. And that's what you want to see. You want to see some kind of reaction to let you know that you're right around that fish. And that is a super nice one right there, man. We'll take them all today. Because obviously looking around, bright, sunny, flat, calm. Not probably your ideal walleye fishing conditions by the book. But that's when it becomes even more important to be extremely precise like this. We'll see what we got going on up here. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video for me and Cameron sitting down here, catch some walleye. It's kind of a random spree of the moment video, would you say? There was no real thought on what was going to happen. No, we were just out here, you know, enjoying the weather, see if we can catch a few fish. And Cameron came up for a couple days up here in northern Wisconsin, and we caught a bunch of fish. And when you see a day like this, this time of year, normally it means one thing that fishing is going to be a little bit more of a grind but fishing this style of fishing is kind of the difference between you know not catching any or catching one and having kind of a morning like we have and a lot of it relies on just you know being very specific with that bait on the mega live so you can obviously do this in a style of fishing where you'd be you know seeing fish on side imaging whipping the live around to them but if you know a lot of these fish are in the weeds a lot of these lakes you can just get on that weed edge with the live and just kind of sharpshoot those fish that are commingled in there so hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed watching this one i got probably one more day at home before i hit the road and make a big long road trip all across walleye country so i appreciate you guys watching we're gonna chill the rest of the day aren't we <laughs> Cameron's already singing some Morgan Wallen so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get out of here wrap up this video hang out the rest of the day on the boat but I appreciate you guys watching this one stay tuned for more content if you guys have not yet please subscribe we'll see you next time